Hello everyone. So today I will be taking a look at a rogue antivirus for Android called Android Defender. Now for those of you who don't know what a rogue antivirus is, it is a fake antivirus that will say, oh you have viruses and other malware. Now we can um, charge you a fee to remove them and you pay the criminals, they get your credit card information and you end up with a fake antivirus that doesn't do anything. Now I will quickly show a picture up on screen of what a fake antivirus for Windows looks like. And with that out of the way, let me show you what a fake antivirus for Android looks like. So this is the fake antivirus right here. It ha is labeled as Skype-free calls. You know, you have to pay for Skype calls. Well, you can get them for free using an app. So let's go ahead and install it. Now right off the bat, it is asking for quite a few sensitive permissions like modify and read your contacts, access your location, read your text messages, modify or delete contents of your SD card, permissions you just don't want to give to a random application. So let's go ahead and install it. And just like that, it's installed. Now, I did a bit of research on this before I started this video, and it has the potential with enough time to show pornographic images, so sorry if I have to blur out the screen. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and open it. Now, right off the bat, it's asking for device administrator, which it will, which has the capability to erase all data, change password rules, change the screen lock, lock the screen, monitor screen, unlock attempts. Once again, permissions you just don't want to get to a random application. Just for the sake of this test, we're going to activate the device administrator. Now this is going to make it quite a bit more difficult to remove later in the video. So let's watch the scan and see what it finds. So we have 9, oh, 10 critical threats now. 11 now? Okay. Oh, 12, 13 now. So it appears the scan is, oh, it's complete now. 14 critical threats. And we have a whole bunch of fake detections. Now let's try and remove these, see how much they're charging us. And it will ask you to purchase the full version. And this will, I believe, allow you to, yep, enter in a registration key. If I can get out of this. And we can continue unprotected, or we can purchase the full, ver full version. Let's see what the full version looks like. Okay, so we have A999 for the lifetime license, usually $129.95. And we have premium support automatically checked for $999. The total is $99.98. And it's asking for a credit card number. Let's try and give it some random number. And sure expires in 2021. Uh, just a random one. Okay. Let's see what we can, um, I'm sure I'm from Afghanistan. Can I type? Okay. And I can just type in something random. Yeah, secure purchase. Okay, fine, I'll enter in a little bit more. Okay, so it does actually check your card information. Okay then, interesting. Now let's take a look around the interface. Now we have protection. Scanner, antivirus, anti-spam, anti-advertising, anti-theft, backup, and automatic updates. And we have settings. Not sure if these do anything. 
but let's see. We have registration. It's going to ask you. Yep, it's going to ask you to pay. We it'll just continue unprotected. And let's go ahead and remove this before it shows any pornographic images like a previous video I saw on it did. So we should be able to just uninstall it. Now this will be where the device administrator comes into play and I will have to disable that first before I can uninstall it. And it doesn't appear like it gives any resistance to that. So let's go ahead and uninstall it. And just like that, it's gone. Anyway, that pretty much wraps it up for this video on Android Defender. Thank you all for watching, and have a great day.